I guess this video should probably have some full disclosure because um, I want everything in this to be real, but I haven't really scripted this one, so I may get a teeny bit rambly with all of it, but I will try to stay quick and to the point, and um, I'm going to try to be real with you guys um, about our well, my journey specifically. I'm, I say our, it's technically mine uh, that I'm sharing with you guys. I can't speak for anybody else, but um, I deal with depression and anxiety. It's a real thing, and it can get hard sometimes, especially when stress levels are high and that hit hard this weekend. And yeah, um, it meant that I had to completely shut down. Like I couldn't do things in that time. And it was hard because like Thursday or Friday morning started off pretty well. We was doing some work with a client downtown and we got to go to our new space and see that but there was some stress while we were at the new space because kind of learned what I thought was going to be my plan there once we saw it physically on the floor wasn't going to work and you know it was that stress coupled with just the stress of everything was just enough to be the enough to send me over and then start questioning everything and it's like for me this just total snowball that happens where I start off with what could be one small problem, but very quickly it becomes a larger and larger and larger problem as more things combine into it to, to the point that I end up in this place where I just feel worthless, that I can't do anything. And that's a hard place to be. And it really is. And there's nothing anybody from the outside can say to fix it. it there's really not. Um, I wish that, you know, just somebody's coming up and saying, no, you're doing great, would fix it. In my mind, when that happens, they're pretty much just coming up to say that to make me feel better, and it's not actually true. And I can't accept the truth when I'm in those places. And I wish I could say I had, like, a magical formula for getting out of those spaces. I don't. I mean, basically it's time and trying to give myself some space, even though it's hard to do because especially starting this business right now, I feel like there's so much I have to do. And if I'm, it's not performing at the level I want it to perform at, it's because I'm not hustling hard enough. I'm not doing enough. And it's my fault. So taking that day off means I'm just that much further behind, even though the emotional health behind everything so that I can think clearly, so I can string two words together in a sentence, needs to be there, <laughs> obviously. You know, I'm sitting here trying to do this in front of a camera right now. Again, uh, it's hard. It is really hard. But we keep moving forward. And um, funny, it kind of funny that I'm telling this to a camera when basically the only people right now that know about the crash this weekend are my husband and my kids, because obviously they were there seeing it all go down. And I wish I could say that it was something that they hadn't experienced before, but it is, so they kind of know what's going on with that. And they're awesome. They are absolutely awesome. But that's where it is. And that's the truth. And so um, I'm going to keep on keeping on because that's what I can do. And um, I would love to say that, you know, I've conquered it, you know, coming through this. I feel like it's never going to happen again. I'm done. But I'm also a realist. And um, it's not so much that I feel like it'll never happen again, but I can just hope that with each time I'm better prepared and that I'm ready to face it and to take those challenges on. And um, So just in case family, friends listening to this, I'm okay. I'm coming out of it. It was a funk for a couple of days that hit really, really hard. And um, 
I'm doing okay. It's just talking about anything personal like this makes me emotional. So tears are tears. That's the way I am with stuff like this. Um, and we're going to keep moving on. <laughs> so I know I've said that a couple of times now, but uh, every day is going to get a little better. That's what I'm holding to. So I'm going to keep moving on and hopefully maybe me sharing this has helped somebody out there who is in the same boat and that I can say, you know, from my vlog a couple of days ago, last week, I think it was last week, you know, with my two superheroes that, you know, you can be Spider Gwen who's overwhelmed and you can be Wonder Woman, but no matter what, you're a superhero. Sorry. <laughs> Trying not to ugly cry, because yeah. <laughs> this is on camera. Um, but yeah, so that's it. That's it for today. Um, I will hopefully be happier tomorrow, and it will be something happier to talk about. So we've got good things coming. I've had a good productive day here in the office, lots of cool things happening. So um, onward and forward. I'll see you tomorrow.